You know, we really do live in an amazing time, and this latest release from Gamma is just another example of that. If you haven't heard, 3.0 is out, and I want to take you through and show you what it can do, and how impressive it really is, and how cheap it is for you to cr start creating really powerful presentations and documents uh, with just a couple of clicks. So let's jump into it. Okay, so before we start building anything, this is the announcement page from Gamma talking about 3.0. As you can imagine, they've got a little bit of AI built into it, but I think once you look at what it can do and how quickly you can build decks and build documents, uh, you're going to be as excited about this as I am. But before we get to that, we got to go find some content to create. So I, I have this inside of Motion, I have a bunch of documents that I keep so that my, the AI agents and employees that work with me inside my company can access those documents. And one of them is a blog article that I recently wrote, posted it to LinkedIn and to my website. This is part of a of a new search engine optimization strategy called uh, AEO or sorry ASO, which is Answer Search Optimization. And I'm going to be doing a video about that later, about some of the stuff that you can do. If it's out, I'll put a little link up in the top left corner, top right corner, where you can go and watch it. Uh, if not, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. But it's just basically taking a, how do you convert subscribers into paid clients? This is something that the question, big question that my clients ask. And so I just wrote a blog article on how you do it. And so what I want to do with this first is I'm going to, again, where I can have AI help me, I'm going to. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to create a new document inside of my private workspace. And when I do that now, Motion gives me the option to let an AI build it out for me. And so what I'm going to do is I can just say to the uh, to the agent, please convert this document that it has access to into a presentation I can share with my uh, at our next training. So I'm click write the draft. It's going to go to work doing the work for me. And boom, a couple seconds later, I have this awesome little document with bullet points that I can use and share with anybody I want to. But of course, this isn't very visually appealing, is it? It's it's I've taken the I've taken the article and I've converted it into something that is easier to digest, kind of bullet pointed ideas that I can riff off of, but I haven't really done anything with it to to make it visually appealing or interesting. That's where gamma comes in. So again, if we just open up the gamma, you can see I've been playing in here around around with it for a little while. I have um I've had an account with them for a long time, but I have never really used the product because up until now, it just really, it wasn't worth the effort. Yeah, you could get it into a slide deck, but it required so much, so much modification to it that you might as well just be building in PowerPoint or in Keynote. And, and I don't think that's the case anymore. So if I come up here to create new uh, with AI, I get a couple of different options. I can paste in text. I can generate it by just typing in a prompt and saying, hey, I want you to generate me a, a presentation or a document about this, or you can import it from a file or URL. So we can do this a couple of different ways inside of Motion. So one of the ways is to share this document and just make it publish, uh, publish it and make it available. And when I do that, it'll give me a link that I can share and take over into um, into Gamma. But I think for this one, all I'm just going to do is just copy this. And I'm going to go back into Gamma. I'm going to go, nope, not there. Paste in text. And I'm just going to paste in all that text. I want a presentation. Yep. Um, traditional, tall, defaults looks good. And then generate from notes or an outline. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to summarize anything. It can do all that stuff for you, but we're just going to have it generate from the notes that we created. So we're going to click go. And very quickly, watch how fast this actually works. Oh, well, wait, wait just a second. So I have the option to go with like, do I want minimalist? Do I want concise sort of detailed outlines or extensive? Um, written for small business owners, founders, and marketing managers looking to convert email subscribers into paid clients. It did that for me. I didn't tell it to do that. It actually figured this out. And oh, I see, I recognize you guys probably can't see that. So let me kind of get myself moved over here. So it created and let me know, it decided who it thought the core audience should be. 
and the tone is persuasive, strategic, confident. I can change any of that if I want to. And then it gives me a vibe. So what do I want the theme and the visuals to feel like? And I'm just going to use this one right here for an example. And then the illustrations, do I want them to be sort of a, uh, like a drawing? Do I want it to be photorealistic, abstract? You can do pretty much anything you want here. And then I can give it some extra notes here or keywords. I don't really care about any of that. We're just going to go to town. I'm going to click generate. And in a matter of seconds, it's going to start building out this deck. And check out how good this is right out of the gate. Now on the free plan, I only get access to 10 slides. So if you're somebody who maybe has, or is going to be using this for a lot more production, um, then you may want to go ahead and pay for you know, to get a pro account, but this is the free account and it gives me up to 10 slides. And I think for this particular training, uh, and this slide deck, 10 is going to be fine. Still working and boom, we're done. So come back up here to the top. Converting email subscribers into paid clients, transforming reality check. Dude, the graphics look great. Now, what can we do with this now? Here's where it gets kind of cool. So let's say that, hey, we like this sort of, we like this, the text and stuff, but it's not very interesting. We want to make it more visually appealing. What we can do is we can come up here in the top and say, make it more visual. And the AI is just going to go to work on recreating this slide to give it a more visually appealing look. And what I'm going to try and do is get it to give me some graphs or something in here so that we can really showcase what's possible with, uh, with the AI. And boom, look at that. It took that and just made it more visually appealing and broke it out in a way that is kind of easier for people to digest. Now, over here on the right, you'll see here's the new one. I can go back to the original if I want. So if I don't like something the AI did, I can just go back and say, hey, I don't want you to do that. Okay, now let's try another one. So let's come in here and... I don't really like the, it, these aren't supposed to flow like a downward flow. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to go over to my charts and graphs. And actually there's my layouts. Um, I was playing with this earlier. Here we go. This is what's new. These are the smart diagrams. And so what I can do with this is I can take it and I can just drag it over. So let's find one that looks like it might be a good one. How about something like this? Let's just take it over here and drop it in and see what it does. Now, what it should do is it should take this information and then put it into something interesting here. Foundational segment, group subscribers by intent, engage and nurture, convert offer, optimize and test. Yeah. So I wonder if I can tell it to change the color. So I can now delete this part because we don't need that. Oops. What I do? Just I command Z and I undo it. So this part is what I don't need. So we can just delete that. And then I don't like this green color here. So I wonder if there's a way for me to come in. Oh, that looks so much cooler. So all I did was come up here into Alt uh, Complement and I can change kind of the color variations. So that it's a little more, you know, there's a little more space split in the different colors because I just don't like that green. Yeah, that looks terrific. And then if I want to come in, change any of the text, do anything like that, I can just come in right here. But you, you, you see how the concept behind this is, do you see how easy this is for you to come in and very quickly create a presentation? Like there's a lot of times when I, I have in my in, inside my business, I do a lot of documentation for my clients. So anytime we're teaching on something new, whether it be, you know, email conversion or um, what I call narrative priming, which is how to kind of build rapport and trust with your audience. If we're talking about personality driven email copy, which is something that I encourage all my clients to do. Those are all in long document form because I find that that's the best way for people to be able to go back and research and reread and see everything rather than having bullet points and having to go watch a video or remember what remember what I meant when I had those bullet when I put those bullet points out. With something like this, I can take any one of those documents, plug it right into uh, Gamma and instantly have a presentation that I can take out. 
And this is really helpful for me because there's a lot of times I get called on to go on a podcast or to talk about a subject, and I just want to pull out some chunks of information and get a slide deck put together. And up until now, as I said before, this I didn't really feel like this was that valuable. I, I the, it, You didn't have these sort of very quick AI um, augmentations and the ability to shift things around and to do it really quick. And frankly, it was easier just to do it in Keynote and faster. Now, this is something that I would actually use and do plan to use in the future. So I'll leave a link to uh, Gamma in the comments or in the description. If you got any questions, let me know. If you like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the stuff I'm doing. And YouTube really likes that. And that means that they start showing my videos more. And I like that too. So I appreciate y'all watching. Talk to you soon.